thanks for coming here because uh, I'm ashamed that I don't know about him at all. <laughs> so, Sai, uh, my name is Padmakar. Uh, I live in the Chicago area for 20 years. And my, my, my wife is here, Malati. She's uh, Chicago Andhra Association president from last one here. <laughs> so we are, we are friends of Sai for a long time. I said, come down. Especially when I see he sent me a pamphlet about education support, right? And that, that's what we are here to see that, you know, what is this all about education support? We are from beginning, we like to support education. We recently took up a uh, school construction in Nalabala Forest or in a Wysak rural area too, Eastern, Eastern Ghats, where, like, as you said, that low level people, they don't even have schools to go for it, right? So like somebody came from India and they presented it and they're constructing the schools in the forest preserves and they want to support it. We donated and we are doing that. Even the, from organization also, we supported around $25,000 to them to support it. But I just want to come in here from you, how we can support, like somebody is asking here, right? How do we support, right? And to support, the biggest challenge for is a trust. trust. Yeah. Every politician talks same story. Their intention is different. But when they speak, it looks awesome. This guy is great, you know. But reality, we don't know it from here, right? It's impossible for us to know from that's a reality, right? And one more thing, what I observed today is that I don't know about your background or story or something, right? It's a uh, awareness is very less. So whatever points you are explaining here, I think we need to bring that awareness to the people on every topic. You touch so many topics from using the earth as an, uh, you know, mining or something, or you set up rivers, you support schools. Maybe we need to create a more specific of each of those topics as it debates and publish in social media, as because nowadays social media is very easy to reach out. And now we have only 50 people. If you publish in Facebook, maybe we see 2,000 people watch it. Well, maybe it's a, stream, so. it's a stream, right? So I, I'm thinking that we should come up with that idea for first bring awareness to the people, you know. Money is not the problem. People can fund if you trust. But and, and also I see that there is nobody on the ground who can do the work, right? We can send the money, but who is going to execute it? That's the biggest challenge. So we need to bring both like awareness of the problems and how do we are going to execute it. And if we can get that clarity done, maybe most of the videos we publish it, I bet I think this moment is going to be grow big actually. Even Malti wants to talk. Hi, thanks for coming. And thanks for inviting me, Bindu, here. And uh, by the way, I'm Malati, uh, president for year for Chicago Andhra Association. Actually, we, uh, being an uh, from association, we help a lot of service-oriented activities in India. So as he mentioned, so right now we are helping at the Arak Valley, few schools. So the, they understand if they talk in their language. It's not like regular Telugu. If we talk also, they cannot understand. Tribal, tribal yeah, tribal way, the education, the curriculum. Uh, actually, I met a person. He's a Kiran Kumar. He has a Think Peace organization. Actually... He is helping and he created the curriculum. And right now he has almost 40 schools there. So, but these schools are not for the uh, regular schools. These are for the preschools. So those kids, uh, what it will have, they all are like labor. So like, you know what the kids, the parents, what do they do? They don't uh, send their kids to schools, regular school. There are some schools, government schools and all, because they wanted to take care of the younger kids. So that's a preschool, preschool kids. So what will happen? Education is not there for them. They will become slowly the next slides. That's a bigger problem is there. That is the reason he started all these 40 schools and he will provide all the meals and everything for them and the teacher salaries and all. So as being from Chicago Andhra Association, we help them. And even like we are uh, planning to construct seven more schools, but not only us, like there are so many people are coming. Investing and even for the construction also, like they don't pay it. Like all like from that village, they will come and build it. So that is like only for the material cost. Some of them they will bring it, but that is one of the example. Actually, we are doing it from Chicago Andhra Association, 
and even right now we took a project from for the refugee women who came from the this is near gujarat we are doing it so like uh, as a women empowerment we donated almost 26000 dollars or 27000 dollars so this year but uh, to help them and giving them embroidery projects and all we are doing it but right now i just coming to yours and uh, till bindu told me i didn't focus on uh, your background and all before i come here and last week i researched what you did and all the one you when you explained i connected all these things thanks for doing it because uh, we can we don't know when we come to there we will try to go some areas and enjoy and just come back and even when we ask few people also they don't tell us what exactly can because they are in a uh, comfortable zone so they don't go to that villages and we wanted to change sometimes we will send the money but it won't go to the right places so we need many people who needs to come forward and change the system so as he said like you know many people will tell come and tell and they will market and they do it but people lost the trust so you are you can help it out but we need to have many pravin kumar sir so that way we can improve thanks for doing it thank you so much thanks malti so malti is like uh, and padma kar are very close friends and um, whenever uh, because i i changed my like you know past uh, uh, thought process moving away from organizations and going to so in this journey i had like many people reaching out from india saying hey ma'am could you help us we don't have this so that's when i used to just just send it to malti and she took care of it in those situations so and thanks for coming here um so the other one thing you know before i take last question i wanted to add one thing because as an rs there could be many people who are reaching out so there was one group i really wanted to mention I you know nagarjuna was part of it almost 20 to 30 people someone created this group and they said hey in india in my village i wanted to give a tv it is more digital education which is like which costs 1 lakh rupee for one tv i was like what is this the really need but what is the reality at the ground level did you check and i asked does the government really doesn't have that sort of money do they even have the teachers do they have the uh, need for the digital uh, tv education so when i posed that question the group completely went silent and whoever created this group they reached out to me bindu what is this the whole group is now totally asking me so many questions and nagarjun was in that uh, group uh, so i asked those questions which everyone need to think what is the ground reality are we able to get connected i know we all go to india we have contacts but are we putting that effort to reach out and check and then do the needful from our side rather than trusting somebody and they are they say maybe this is the need in their village but is that really needed when there are kids who don't have books they don't have teachers like how sir was saying so that's where we need to work on rather than digital devices is what i would say and we might want to take one more question if anyone has 